Hello. Ako nga pala si Mang Almo. At gusto ko sanang mag-alaga ng uh, baboy sa aking farm. Kaso nga lang, hindi ako marunong mag-decide kung anong uri at klase ng baboy or breed ng baboy ang aking aalagaan. Gusto ko kasi magkaroon ako ng uh, animal racing sa aking farm. Iticture ang din kaya. Meron siyang video. Pwede. So panoorin natin ang kanyang video tungkol sa animal racing. Tara guys. Good day everyone. Again, this is Teacher Alvin. Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about animal racing. Let's try to help some farmers to decide what kind of hog or swine that are the best to their farms. Get your notebook and ball pen and try to take down notes some important details or what are the important ways to raise some swine. Let's go! Have you ever experienced raising animals for food? Hog, cow, goat, chicken? Or have you observed your neighbor or relative manage an animal farm? Did this experience interest you that one day in the future, you will try this business? Animal or Fish Racing Animal or Fish Racing High protein food, the most important livestock in the Philippines. It gives farmers additional source of income. Objectives Number 1. Cite a factor in choosing animals to raise. Number 2. Discuss on how to plan for animal to raise. Number 3. Describe on how to raise wine, cows, and goats. Number 4. Explain how to market pork, beef, and byproducts. Hog raising or pork. Swine raised by pork and meat in highly demand in the market. Breeds. Basic swine breeds in the Philippines. Imported breeds. We have our Duroc, Large Swine, Land Race, Hampshire, Poland, China, and Berkshire. Duroc, light dark red color, superior growth rate, produces great numbers of liters or offspring, good mothering ability. Land Race, white black spots on skin, superior growth rate, produces great numbers of liters or offspring, good mothering ability, square humps, short legs, and large droopy ears, efficient converter of feeds to meat, easily gets sunburn, insect bites, and skin disease, large white, white in color, spots on black pigment on skin, ears are erect and forward, has superior mothering ability, give birth to several liters, offspring at time, easily adapt to confinement, has fine quality meat. Hampshire, long-legged and slender body, white belt around the body, shoulder and forelegs, average growth rate, can be raised in rag conditions. Berkshire, Black color with six white points in feet, face, and tail. Erect ears are medium size and are set apart. Can be raised in raw conditions. Good meat producers. Poland, China. Black color with six white points in feet and face. Medium size ears and slightly dropping. Adapt to rag conditions. Does not produce much litter. Characteristics of a good breed Number 1. Healthy No physical defects Number 2. A well-formed body shape and parts And number 3. The biggest among the liters Characteristics of a good stock Number 1. Parents have high performance in producing good numbers of liters Number 2. Is a potential good breeder Female pigs with at least 12 kids are potential breeders. Number three, is a good converter of feeds to meat. 
This means that it can grow fast with the less amount of feeds given. Taking care of the hugs. Proper care includes the following. Proper housing, food, proper care of hugs, control of pests and disease. Proper housing. A typical backyard bakery house is built out of hollow blocks or concrete or galvanized sheets for roofing. Depending on the number of hugs for pig pen, it must have enough space for pigs to move around. Food Today's special feeds which contains all necessary nutrients for growth and fattening are available in the market. These are commercial feeds. These feeds can be bought in feed store. Proper care of hugs. Bath the hugs every day. They will make them feel refreshed and comfortable. Also keep their pig pens always clean. Control of pest and disease. Hug should be immunized at an early age. Vaccination for hug cholera lasts from 8 to 12 months and for hug plaque 8 months. It's always important to keep pig pens very clean and the pigs keep in pens to keep them free from diseases and pests. Hug Equipment Remember, hug house should be constructed in ideal sites to guarantee good hug performance. Breeding Crate Farrowing Crate Castration Rock Feeding Floor Hug watering or drinking troughs. Portable hug loading chute. Feeding. You can feed your swine the following. Root crops. Corn bran. Wet bran. Rice bran. Ipil ipil leaf. Copra meal. Soya beans. Commercial feeds for hug and swine. Marketing. Sale fattening hugs as soon as they reach 60 to 80 kilos. Sale animals based on weight and never on pair heads. Let's do this. Number 1. Form pairs. Interview a veterinarian or search his hair role in the care of animals, particularly hug in cows. What? He or she does to maintain the health and safety of animal. Number two, short video about your favorite animal in the farm. What do you call the meat of a goat? Let's find out in our part two. Hope that my video give you a lot of information about animal racing. Thank you very much for watching. And once again, this is Teacher Alvin, your TLRific teacher. So ayun, nadali mo Teacher Alvin. So ngayon alam ko na kung anong uri ng mga baboy ang aking aalagaan sa aking farm. Sana kayo din ay manatutunan dun sa kanyang video. So tara na guys, at umpisa na natin ang ating pag-aalaga sa aking farm.